um, uh, statement I wrote about the series and uh, a drawing called Old Man Prey, which uh, has this bearded religious man uh, with a talus for prayer show on, uh, holding uh, some sort of prayer book or study book. With, uh, this is the seventh or eighth drawing I did in the series. Aside from that, I mean, it's 
tie that had a, during a beret, had a western shirt with a zip, snap pocket, uh, fancy belt buckle, tapered like mine style pants and shiny shoes. What amazed me about Rubenstein was people were dying on the streets all over the, the ghetto of starvation and disease, and they were being yanked off the streets and taken to the, the cattle cars of the Rubenstein plants where they some people on the train from death camp. Rubenstein did what he always did. He performed. And that's to me, as a, as a statement about an artist doing something remarkable, I have nothing but tremendous admiration and respect for what he did. And hopefully, his death is less meaningless now that people will see this. It's published. He um, was viciously beaten by the Gestapo during an interrogation. I uh, was reported to have lost his reason after that. And, uh, speculatively, I think that the only reason he was probably interrogated by the Gestapo was that he was a street performer. And that consent had made him an unusual target for them and their, you know, their craziness and their madness. So, This is a uh, portrait of Sesha Burstyn and It's the second drawing I did, and the other one in the exhibit that depicts a, a murdered relative of someone in Seattle. And Sesha was uh, born, uh, the family thinks, in 1910. She perished during the uprising. Sesha's niece and great niece and great nephew live here. Uh, I'm friends with the great niece, Hannah who gave me the photograph. Similarly to Mrs. Lover in the drawing of Eagle, uh, the Seattle family here had a, had a relative, in this case, Hannah's grandmother moved to the States in the 1920s, corresponded with the rest of the family back in Warsaw. In this case, all of Sesha's siblings all perished. And uh, but, uh, Sesha's, but Hannah's grandmother corresponded with all the family back there and had photographs as well. They had a photograph of Sesha, which they gave me to use in the series. And according to Hannah, the great niece, according to her mom, Sesha Deeds, Hannah was uh, captured during the uprising and executed. And uh, so she's about uh, 33 years old here when she was murdered. And, um, that's it. Um, there's a little bit of colored pencil in some areas of feathers here, otherwise it's just mainly black and white ink drawing. Session's spouse actually survived the war and lived in Canada after that.